Yes, we are so happy to see spring and the sun and people everywhere are flocking to sunny patios for light bites and refreshing drinks. Here today to share that perfect springtime spread for these warm days ahead is Chef Laurelyn Carter. Welcome back, Thank friend. Thank you. Good I am see you. so happy to see you and I love that you've brought along simple yet delicious recipes. And let's dive right in. What's yeah. the first one that you recommend that we can whip up easily as we discover this patio weather? Well, you know, we all have to have a dip where it's crudite or some gluten-free crackers or something. We want something that's easy and with fresh herbs. So we've got a little bit of the vegan mayonnaise. Okay. Some plant-based cream cheese, rosemary and basil, garlic and lemon juice. Super easy. Easy. Now let's Super. go back to the cream cheese. Mm -hmm. Why is it important uh, that it is plant-based? Well, a lot of people have, you know, problems with dairy. And right. so I like to offer an alternative. Okay. So the plant-based, you can use regular cream cheese if you wanted to. Just go light. Got it. And of course our herbs, rosemary, basil, <sighs> classics. And of course, you can grow those this time of year. Start planting your herbs. Okay, good. Garlic for a little kick. For a little kick. A little kick. Have to scoop that and, out. Yeah. And then lemon juice. Okay. That gives us our little our little bite, and then you can also use it as a great sandwich okay. spread. I'm gonna have a little Got a bite, little taste. as you tell me. Yeah. Um, how long? So uh, a week? I mean, how long? Three do you or think four it days, keep? your herbs will start to break down. Okay, so, got but, it. But absolutely great for any kind of party gathering, whatever. Lots of flavor. Delicious. Not a lot of ingredients, but a big punch of flavor. And absolutely, the, and it's just so refreshing. Again, for this yeah. time of year, perfect. Yep. And it's good for you with the alternative in um, the cream yeah. cheese. And, and again, you can substitute for a sandwich spread. Perfect. You know, do away with the mayonnaise and do something like that for a punch of flavor. Absolutely. Okay, next up, what are these? These, these are, are my savory pecan delicious. truffles. They're mm. perfect for an appetizer. And I love, of course, incorporating pecans. We are in Georgia after right. all. So again, the plant-based cream cheese, chopped fresh chives. Okay. Garlic. I love that you love the garlic. Garlic. I do too. The garlic. Mm -hmm. And then pecan truffle oil. We're all Ooh. familiar with truffles and truffle oils, yes. but pecan. And okay. it adds a great flavor. And this is a Georgia product, sure. again. So about a tablespoon or two tablespoons of the truffle oil. Just that. Now, truffle mm -hmm. oil, I will say, because I, I use it um, sparingly. Right. A little bit goes a long it way. Sure <laughs> it sure does. does. And so is it the same uh, for the pecan? It is. Truffle? It, it is. It's the same thing. And all you're going to do is mix this up. Got it. Then we have our crushed pecans here. Roll it and makes a perfect appetizer. Taste that. Okay, You'll love taste it. Taste this. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So good. Absolutely delicious and oh super easy and so much flavor. That is delicious. Mm -hmm. Of course yeah. it is. I mean, it's you. And it's light and you know great for this time of year and it'll hold up really well. And the truffle oil is just perfect. It's not overpowering, but you mm -hmm. definitely get that beautiful nutty flavor. Right. So good. Right. One of my uh, favorites. Okay. And the last recipe, again, something we can whip up when we're sitting outside and enjoying this beautiful yeah. weather with girlfriends. Of course, many of us are mindful that Swimsuit season is oh, upon it's, us. It's so. just around the corner. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll lighten it up. Well, you got to have a chicken salad. Mm -hmm. Everybody loves a classic chicken salad. Mm. So this one is super easy. You can do chicken or quail. This is curried quail chicken salad. So we've got, again, our mayonnaise, just a little bit of the vegan mayonnaise, a little bit. You don't have to have a heavy, heavy amount. Right. You've got your flavor from mango chutney. Yum. Now, I'm not a big mayonnaise person. I know when you are making a salad, mm -hmm. it's nice to have some, but I don't like it very wet with the no, mayo. No, you don't want just it Just a little flavor. All it is is really just a binder and a little bit of moistness. Okay, That's all great. there is to it. Now, let's talk about quail. Mm -hmm. A lot of people may think, well, that's an interesting choice. What's, what's it taste like, and how does it really enhance the flavor of this? Well, quail are a much more delicate bird, so they are sweeter and have a little bit of a, a little sweetness, and I'm going to say a tender, I mean... I guess you would say that it was probably a lighter version, a little bit easier to add to the palate, extra flavors and stuff. Extra, yeah, okay. extra, extra and flavors. Where, would, where do we get quail? <laughs> well, I get mine out of South Carolina, but you can get them in the grocery stores, in, in the frozen the food section. Well, mm -hmm. who knew? A little curry. Oh, I love that. And what is that? Chopped macadamia nuts. Yum. And, and of course, garlic again. Garlic. We gotta have, garlic. Garlic. Gotta have our garlic. I gotta have our garlic. But quail, I like those because they are, they're so delicate. I mean, you can add so many flavors to well, it. Well, again, you're, it's its not your typical chicken salad you know, right. it, that people are used to. You're right. kind of adding your own uh, excitement to something mm -hmm. that, you know, people kind of take for granted in having just a regular, ordinary right. salad for spring. And so if you want to hand me one of those, I'll I would love this. it. The mango chutney in this is really what gives it such great flavor. Okay. It really does. And as you're scooping that out for us, tell us about your cookbook. And you had a great event last night. We did Skinny Southern. There you go. 
has Thank been you. out since March 1st. Okay. We sold out in 12 days. Number two on Amazon's yes. hot new release list and all gluten-free recipes, 100%, a lot of dairy-free and no refined sugars. And last night we had an amazing event up the Wolf Sub-Zero showroom and we had a book signing and dinner and all of the proceeds were going to Polo and the Pines and Children's Health Care of Atlanta. Yes. So we're fighting pediatric brain cancer. Yes, we are. And my dear friend Sean O'Keefe is involved in that. He is. He is. Very, very passionate about mm -hmm. that. And Tina Fowler, she was there. You know, she's the founder of it. It was a great night and just wonderful turnout for people and had a, you know, a lot of fun. I always love having you. This is fantastic. So are we on back order with your, with your no, books? Or no, no? They're, no, they're back Please in now. So you can, yeah, you can go to Amazon, Books A Million, Barnes & Noble. You can find them there. Also, Polo and the Pines still has them. You can go to poloandpines.org and get them there as well. Fantastic. And of course the proceeds will go towards we'll fighting the pediatric the brain pine. cancer. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Uh, guys, please pick it up. As she mentioned, it's called Skinny Southern or visit her website, lauralyncarter.com. Thank you for Thank you. providing me with lunch. Yeah, absolutely. It's delicious. Thank you.